Back at 645, now it's been 30 years since one of Eau Claire's biggest employers closed, Uniroyal. The tire company was a major part of the city for much of the 20th century, and now the anniversary of its closure is being marked. Now joining us to talk about it is Dennis Miller, a former electrician at the plant who's organizing this event. Good morning, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So first tell us a little bit about the event that's happening this Sunday. It's going to be at the Lismore Hotel in the Wilson Ballroom, a huge place. Um, the doors will open at 2. I'm sure there'll be some people early. There, there always is. And the film, this is a new film and a new book, What Was Uniroyal? The film will start at 3 o'clock. So you have an hour from 2 to 3 to look at a, a various assortment of artifacts that we've assembled and uh, greet and meet former rubber workers and other people and family. And back then, as you were describing, Everybody knew somebody from Uniroyal, whether it was your, from your family to your neighbor to friends. Um, but now, sadly, after 30 years, I handed out hundreds of these posters. And whenever I came to a person who was under 35, I would ask him, do you know what Uniroyal was? Sadly, the majority of them didn't. So 30 years is a milestone. It takes you to the very edge between remembering and forgetting. And for our community, it would be very sad if we forgot our legacy. And Uniroyal was the titan. Tell me what it's like for you to be able to, you know, put this on for Eau Claire, because like you said, it was the titan here in the area, and you were part of its history. Um, what it means to me, I'm just grateful that I can. I was an electrician. You know, you never know what you can do unless you try. And I'm starting to get jitters, you know, the time is approaching. I've, I've waited two years for this. I, the film was done a year and a half ago, and then the book. Now I'm starting to get nervous. You know, are people going to come? Because it's about the people. But no matter what, we tried. We're going to have all the information. Again, it's happening this Sunday. It's there on your screen at the Lismore Hotel, one of the ballrooms there. Doors open at 2, starts at 3. The tickets are $8. You can go to volume1tickets.org to get your tickets. Are tickets available at the door as well? Yes. Okay, so if you don't have a chance to go online, you can also just stop by the day of the event. Again, all that information will be on wqw.com. Just click on the Daybreak tab. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.